What's up, guys? Uh, Eric on the Ravens fan five sixteen, and um, it's uh, Wednesday night, so it's actually it's, it's time for me to announce the um, the winner of the second portion of the uh, Show Me Yours contest. And uh, this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, go, I, I went through all the videos that I have. I actually thought I had thirty eight. I actually had forty. I had two videos that were tagged on the wrong video, but I missed and forgot to tell the people that they had tagged them on the wrong video. So that was my fault. Like there was a couple of people that had tagged um, their responses to the wrong video, and I let them know to tag them to the right ones. These people must have just you know fell through the cracks. But um, I'm still including them in uh, the second portion here. Um, really really hard a lot of great great response videos um, a good mix of youtubers that I've never met before some new people to me and uh, as well as um, people I've had communications with uh, you know have watched their videos before and they've watched mine for a while now too so I really enjoyed uh, that um, again I said it, it wasn't really a sub contest it wasn't meant to generate subs for me it was more just uh, getting to know people in the community better getting to know some new people I ended up picking up like 65 to 70 subs on this contest alone so what I'm trying to do is just catch up with everybody that uh, gave me a sub um, so if, if you sub to me through this contest and you know haven't got the the favor return you know I'm working on it. I'm trying to find all the new names so I can sub back to you guys check out your channels as well I really do appreciate that um, I don't you know, it was hard because I don't like calling it, you know, picking my favorite video. Um, but what it what it was to me is just picking out the video that stood out the most to me. Um, and each video had, you know, its own special meaning. It had its own um, had its own feel to it. There was a lot of different, um, a lot of different videos, a lot, tons of different Eleanors. No, no Eleanor was the same. That was really cool. Um, just some things that stick out in my mind now. Um, let's see, uh, Style Style and Sam Kine both had some beautiful logo man uh, one on ones as their Eleanors, and they actually had them, so that was cool to see. Um, Ryan uh, Dominus Infinitus to see his um, his triple Manning auto it was Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, and Archie Manning all on the same card, and from one of the best looking sets to ever come out. You know, 09 UD Black to have that black card with the gold signatures on it, that was a beautiful card. And um, I remember him, him actually getting that card and having to get up quite a bit for it. Um, let's see, Smitty's videos are always hilarious. Uh, somebody said like his first videos, like <laughs> he used the uh, index cards with the words on it so he didn't have to talk because he was really nervous. I went to look for him and I didn't find any, but that would have been really funny to see. Um, and then during his video, he showed his Eleanor, and I actually remember now that he said it, that when the person sent it to him, I believe it was Squall2828 sent it to him, um, it had a picture of Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds on the front, and I didn't remember that until he said it in his video, and it, it kind of clicked in my head. I was like, oh yeah, I do remember him getting that. That was really cool. Let's see, what else? Um, Romy14 and Purple GT 22 both have my back. That was really cool. They said, you know, if you don't sub to me, they're probably going to kick your ass, so... You know, I just, I guess, you know, give me a sub because those two guys look like they can mess some shit up. So, um, let's see what else. Who else? Oh, uh, <laughs> Dawkins311 with his, uh, with his son in the background with his arms crossed the whole time looking like a little badass. That was hilarious. That was great. Um, met a bunch of new people too. Um, had some great, some great videos from some people that I had never met before, uh, never had any contact with. A uh, 2420 Vic is one that stands out. And I keep looking over here because I have all the videos up and I'm just, you know, I'm looking at the names and remembering what I saw on the videos. So 2420 Vic had a beautiful um, Eleanor. It was a, it was a um, five star booklet card of Matt Ryan. It was a triple patch auto numbered one of one. It was a, just a beautiful card. Um, let's see what else. Um, let's see, uh, Collector Net, Leonard, um, Jayhawk, uh, 1971, who was actually the winner of the random, so congrats on that. And um, Sam Kind 4 all showed, uh, like, their first, well, um, Jayhawk and Collector Net both showed their first binders with all their cards in it. And that was just really cool to see that. I mean, I, I still have mine. Actually, I have it right here. This is actually dusty because it's been under my bed. But this has a ton of old, old baseball cards in it. I mean, I'm talking from like the the early 
early 90s, late 80s. That was all. I, I have a ton of old, because I used to collect just baseball. Oh, I got all the dust in the air now. So I have all that. It was cool to see that. And then Sam Kind had that, uh, that, that jacked up Roger Clemens card. That was his first card. But it was cool to see that he still had that. And uh, he had his writing on the back and everything. He wrote, like, Raj on the back for Roger Clemens. And the, just the corners were all dinged up. But to see that he still had that, that was really cool. Um, let's see what else stood out to me. Um, having people like Hudson Fan 15 and Army ATC 22 get in on the contest was just surreal to me because those were the guys that I was watching when I first started um, really getting into uh, the YouTube portion of the hobby. So to have those guys you know, get in on it, that was just, that was really cool. It was kind of, I don't want to say starstruck, but it was definitely surreal to see, you know, that I had a, a video response from Hudson Fan 15 and a video response from Army ATC. That was just, it was neat to have them involved as well. Let's see what else. Um, oh, KB2009-24 MVP. I hope I'm saying that name right. But um, had just a beautiful Eleanor. He didn't have a picture of it. He didn't have it yet, but he's look, still looking for it. I believe it was number to six, but it was a Peyton Manning card from uh, Exquisite. And it was um, his Peyton Manning signature, and it was the endorsements or you know where they can write whatever they want. It said Go Vols on it for the volunteers. And he's a huge Tennessee fan, so I'm sure to get a card like that for him would just be amazing. So it was cool to hear about that. Uh, Bo Riz941 with his, um, showed the, the still of the, uh, the break from uh, Chris from the Hobby Boxes videos of the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, Eric Berry uh, NFL Logo Shield autograph. 101, another beautiful card, but um, enough giving everybody their shout outs. To me, this contest came down to three videos that really stood out to me. Two from new guys that I've never dealt with before. Um, actually, I had seen one of the other guys, just one of his videos before. It was with his daughter, so that might be a dead giveaway. And then uh, one from a YouTuber that um, I recently got to kind of communicate with. Um, you know, we've been shooting PMs back and forth and uh, just commenting on each other's videos. I really enjoy his videos. For me, the three videos came down to, and I would appreciate if you guys just check these out, you know, to see where to see where my mind was with this. Um, the first one was from Brad, 57 Raiders. And um, when I, I watched a few of his videos before, but I never really had any contact with him. He appeared to me to be like, you know, a very... Uh, you know, like a, like a guy's guy type person, like, you know, not really um, the emotional type, but when he started talking about uh, how he got to the hobby and his cousin was the one that got him involved, and unfortunately um, his cousin uh, is no longer with us, you could just tell that he was getting a little emotional about it. And that was really, you know, I respect somebody that can, um, that doesn't mind having their emotions, you know, visible. For him, you, you could tell that, that it, you know, he was still, it still affected him that, you know, unfortunately his cousin's no longer with us, but that he remembers him and he honors him through this collecting hobby. That was, that was really neat to me. I, you know, I was kind of, kind of touched by that. Um, the second video, again, from another new, uh, YouTuber to me, at least not, not new, meaning that he hasn't made videos before, but new to me was from uh, Packers corner. Uh, I, that, his name's escaping me right now. So I apologize for that. I'm trying to do this kind of on the fly. But uh, Packers Corner, his his video, just very very high energy guy, um, had a great story behind his Eleanor. He he thought that, um, and again check out the video, he had bought it on a guy, off a guy from eBay, and the guy contacted him, actually called him and said, hey, uh, either his son or his grandson had gotten into his his room where he kept all his cards and ripped up the card that you bought. So you know I'm gonna have to give you a refund. And then like two hours later, called back and said, hey, it wasn't that card that got ripped up. It was a different card. So I can still send you the card. Ended up sending him the card that he bought, which was a Paul Horning card. And um, a bunch of extras. He said it was like a Brett Favre auto, like a couple other things. So that was just, that was a really cool story. Unfortunately, that was only half of his Eleanor. So he's still looking for something else. But he did have that to show. It was, uh, I believe it was graded six. So, I mean, for a card that, that that's that old, that's in pretty decent shape. And the third video that stuck out to me um, that I really appreciated was, uh, not that I didn't appreciate the videos, other videos either, but the third video that stuck out to me, and this is a YouTuber that I'm familiar with, is, um, is Alan, uh, Techno Bailey's response. Um, just really cool. Uh, he, he answered all the questions very well, uh, spoke about, you know, he's very new to the hobby, actually, 
uh, got into collecting cards, I believe he said through a um, like a Red Sox TV special, and it was about Bobby Doerr, and I guess through that somehow he got into found um, a card on eBay that he ended up winning, and he really liked the card and decided to put together the set. Um, how he got involved in YouTube was a cool story, and then um, his Eleanor. Uh, I just really liked watching him talk about it. You can tell it was a card that was really important to him. He even kind of called himself out in the video saying, like, you know, I'm even smiling just talking about the card, which is, you know, that's that's what, uh, you know, your PC Eleanor was all about, something that really makes you happy. Um, and, he, you know, he's just showing it and smiling and everything. I was, that was really neat to see. Um, but those were the three that the contest came down to, and again, I hate using the word favorite. I'm trying to say they were just the videos that stuck out to me most. And if I had to pick one of the three, um, the person who I feel uh, really made the best video, and I'll put that video in the uh, description box, is going to be um, is going to be Alan uh, Techno Bailey. I really, really did enjoy his video. You know, just watching it, seeing him happy over that card made me happy too. I'm smiling. My girlfriend was watching me watch the video and she's like, yeah, what's your problem? What are you smiling about? Like, just seeing somebody that happy about a card, you know, I know that feeling. I, I have the card, my own, or I, I have that card and I know that feeling of just being, you know, not necessarily overwhelmed. You feel like you've accomplished something with that, uh, something that's really made you happy. Um, so just to have, see somebody else share that same feeling that I had was really cool. Again, I thought it was neat that he's only been in the hobby for, what, four years, I think he said in his video. And he's already got one of the nicest vintage uh, Red Sox collections I've ever seen. So, for the winner, the second half of the Show Me Yours contest, I'm going with Alan uh, Techno Bailey. Congratulations, Alan, and congratulations to everybody else. Uh, great videos. Got to meet some very, uh, some, some very nice new people, new YouTubers that I haven't met before. Um, going to start checking out their videos as well. I really do appreciate everybody getting involved in uh, in the contest. Again, I don't like to use the, the term that it was my favorite video, but it was just the video to me that stood out the most. That um, that was the type of response I was imagining when I came up with those questions. So I don't know how to explain myself better. I don't want anybody to get upset or think that their video wasn't good because they all were good in their own fashion. I do appreciate every single one. Again, for all the people that sub to me, I'm trying to, to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Like I said, I have to keep going through a list and find out names that I haven't seen before and then click to your channels and sub to you. So um, this definitely isn't going to be my last contest. I want to think of something new. Um, Alan, I'll be contacting you later tonight, let you know that you've won. Congratulations. I'll just ask you to send me your PayPal information, and I'll be sending you out your prize. Hopefully that will help you work towards your... Um, your Yaz registry, I know that's something that you're working towards. I think the last time I saw it, you were a little over half complete. So congratulations on that as well. Um, I don't know how long this video is because I don't have like a little clock timer on my thing. So I apologize for the length, even though I've never had to do that before. Um, guys, thank you so much for getting involved. I had a huge following on this, 40 videos, not expecting even half of that. So I appreciate every single one getting involved in the contest. Uh, thank you guys and thanks for watching.